Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyaguru and in today's session, I'm going to discuss time and work with you. I'm going to teach you the smartest, the shortest and the simplest method to solve time and work questions. So students, if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and while subscribing, make sure that you press the bell icon as well. And as you can see, this video is in complete English medium. Why we shoot videos in complete English medium? Because our students from South India, our students from Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, they should not face any problem. Apart from that, our students from Northeast are also perhaps more comfortable understanding videos in complete English. So language should not be a barrier. That's why complete English medium videos. So let's see. Let's look at the first question. And uh, the method I'm going to teach you is going to be very very simple so follow it carefully the question says a is thrice as good a workman as b a can do a job a can finish a job in 60 days less than b so a will take 60 days less than b days they will take to complete the work together so if they work together in how much time will they complete the work so now let's see how to solve this question Students, it has been given to us that the efficiency, that A's efficiency is more. A's efficiency is more. The ratio of the efficiency for A and B is what it is. 3 is to 1. A is 3 times more efficient as compared to B. So students, the time taken, the time taken will automatically be in the inverse proportion. That means A will take less time, B will take more time. So, A will take one unit time for every three units time that B takes. The ratio of the time taken will be 1 is to 3. B will take three times more time as compared to A. Sure. Now, let's look at the ratio and let's compare it with what has been given to us. It is given to us that B will take 60 days more. A will take 60 days less than B. Sure. So B will take 60 days more. So the gap is what? Between 1 and 3, the gap is 2 parts. So students, this gap of 2 parts is equal to what? It is equal to 60 days. It is equal to 60 days. Sure. So 2 parts is equal to 60 days. So 1 part is automatically equal to what? It is equal to 30 days. So students, now I know a takes one part time, B takes three parts time. Sure, that means A takes how much? A takes 30 days. A takes 30 days, whereas B takes what? B takes three parts, that means B takes 90 days. Sure, now what we will be doing is very simple. We will look at the time taken by A and the time taken by B. A takes how many days? Students, A takes 30 days. B takes what? B takes 90 days. So we will take the LCM. We will take the LCM of the time they take. So the LCM of 30 and 90, the LCM of 30 and 90 will be what students? It will be 90. So this 90, this LCM, what does it represent? It represents total work. Sure. So the total work is how much? Students, the total work is 90 units. The total work is 90 units, the LCM of the time they take. Sure. Now, in one day, see, 90 units. If 90 units is the complete work and A is doing the work alone, that means he will complete the work in 30 days. So in one day, in one day, he will be doing three units work. In one day, he will be doing three units work because he completes the work in 30 days. Now, let's look at B. B takes 90 days to perform 90 units work to complete 90 units work. That means each day he does one unit work. So per day work. Per day work for A is three units. Per day work for B is one unit. Sure. So if they work together, if they work together, what? is the work that they will be doing in one day. This three will be performed by A. This three units work will be performed by A. And this one unit work will be performed by B. So three plus one, that means together they will perform four units work every day. In 
if I have to calculate the time, I know the total work is what? The total work is 90 days. So what is the total time taken? The total time taken will be 90 upon 4. The total work is 90 units. In one day, they perform 4 units work. So 90 by 4, that means 45 by 2. Students, 22 and a half days. 22 and a half days. That's our answer. That's the total time they will take when they work together. Sure. Now let's use the same approach of solving the question. I have not assumed any x. I have not assumed any y. No variables have been assumed. A simple short way of solving the question. Now let's look at the next one. The approach will still be the same, but the level of difficulty is now getting more. A man, a woman and a boy can finish a job in 3, 4 and 12 days respectively. So a man takes 3 days, a woman takes 4 days and a boy takes 12 days. How many boys must assist one woman, one man to finish the work in one fourth of a day? So the work has to be finished in one fourth of a day. You know that the difficulty level is now getting increased. So let's see. A man, a woman, so man takes what students? A man takes three days, a woman takes four days and a child takes 12 days, a boy takes 12 days. Sure. So when they work together, let's say they work together, then what happens? Students, 3, 4, 12, we will take the LCM of the time they take individually. So 3, 4 and 12, the LCM turns out to be 12. So what is this 12? Students, this 12 is total work. The total work that needs to be done. So a man, a man takes what? A man takes 3 days to complete 12 units. That means every day, in one day he does 4 units. Similarly, a woman, look at a woman. A woman takes 4 days for 12 units. That means every day she does what? She does 3 units work. Similarly, a boy, a boy who is the youngest of them, he completes, he completes 12 units work in 12 days. That means in one day he performs one unit work. In one day he performs one unit work. So per day work done by them is now clear. Four, three and one unit. Sure. What is the total work that needs to be done? Students, the total work that needs to be done is 12 units. Now listen to me very carefully. This 12 units work, this 12 units work needs to be completed. If I finish, if I finish this work in one day, that means in one day I complete what? In one day I complete 12 units, I take the complete day. Now, if I have to, students, if I have to complete the work in one fourth of a day, so I will have to perform more work. I will have to perform work at the rate of 48 units in one day. I will have to perform work at the rate of 48 units per day so that, so that in one fourth of a day, so that in one fourth of a day, I can finish 12 units work. That is the important part. That's the critical part. You will have to increase the speed because now you will have to perform 12 units work in only one fourth of a day. That means your one day work should be equal to 48 units. Then only the work for one fourth of a day will be 12 units. Sure. So 48, these 48 units need to be performed in one day. How many people do we have? We have one man. So one man will do what? One man in one day will do four units. We have one woman. One woman in one day will be doing what? Three units work. That means this seven students, the seven units will be contributed. These seven units will be contributed by one man and one woman. So 41 units are left. 41 units are still left. So these 41 units will have to be performed by boys. One boy can do one unit work in one day. One boy can do one unit work in one day. So to perform 41 units work, students to perform the remaining 41 units work, you will require 41 boys because one boy does 
one unit. One boy does one unit. So 41 boys will be required to perform the remaining 41 units. So students, the answer is 41 boys. And now I'm going to give you an assignment. The assignment is now on your screen. And students, what you can do is call us and the numbers are given on your screen. If you like our method of teaching, if you like our way of teaching, then call upon these numbers, become a part of our live classes, become a part of our online uh, videos, because that way we will be able to complete the syllabus and that way you'll be able to prepare for the exams effectively. So whether it is banking, SSC, CDS, any exam that you're preparing for, call upon these numbers right away and uh, you can get a discount as well. So now the point is, you know, these uh, questions which I'm going to give you as assignment, take a pick of these questions in the next video on time and work. First up, I will discuss this uh, question. I'll tell you the method of how to solve this question. Now, this is a higher level question. So make sure you watch the next video as well. And do not forget to like our videos, share them with your friends. Thank you so much. God bless you.